Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this skin inside of Call of Duty Mobile Battle Royale as fast as possible. Now, there is a bit of background sound um, because it's raining outside, so hopefully that isn't too much of an issue. Just before we get into the tips and tricks, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe because we are trying to get to 2,000 subscribers by Christmas. Alright, so the very first tip is to use the best guns inside of um, Call of Duty Mobile BR. And basically, these are all the guns with the heavy ammo. So that's basically the assault rifles. Now, as you can see from the list here, um, this has all the assault rifles inside of, you know, multiplayer. But we don't um, actually get all of these in Battle Royale. Um, I'll just show you what the best ones are um, in a bit. But yeah, these are basically the ones that you want to be using for Sniper. Um, you don't really want to use any of these except for the Arctic 50 and the DLQ. Everything else is pretty much useless. Um, you just don't want to really use it at all. And for assault rifles, I would recommend the AK-17 Type 25, AK-47, um, the Man of War and the KN-44. And the HBR is okay, um, but it's not exactly my favorite. And you just don't really want to be messing around with SMGs and shotguns. It's not really the best. LMGs are okay, but I would still recommend using an assault rifle over an LMG. As you can see here are the classes. My favorite class is Defender. Um, this is just allows me to play a bit more aggressively, and I'm not really worried about too much cover. But I do recommend you guys find the class that you like the most because um it all comes down to your playstyle and your personal choices. And my personal choice is Defender. But you know, you guys might like Smoke Bomber or Poltergeist or anything like that. And that's completely up to you. And also for guns, um, my personal favorites are the AK-17 and KN-44. Alright, so for the second tip, um, this is just to stay alive as much as possible. And the way you guys can actually do this super easily is just by going away from the flight path. So if you guys are wondering why I want to be staying alive as much as possible, um, it's because the longer you stay alive, the more points you get. And obviously the more points you get, then the faster you will be able to get the skin in Master that you guys really, really want. It's kind of why you clicked on this video in the first place. But um, yeah, so you just want to be going away from the flight line. Um, this will just make sure that you don't make, you know, so you just don't die. And um, there'll be less people there. And it will just allow you to stay longer, um, much, stay alive much longer than um, you would have before. And so basically, um, another tip is that once you've landed, you want to be kind of sticking to the edge of the safe zone. You never want to be directly in the middle of the safe zone. That is a really bad thing to do. You don't want to be doing that. Um, the reason this is um, what you want to do is because. When you're on the edge of the safe zone, you kind of only have to watch what's within. You don't really have to watch what's behind you, so that's always really helpful. Alright, so the next tip is to use third person inside of BR and um, your specialist little classes to the maximum potentials. So as you can see here, I'm using this third person to peek this person, and I'm just going to follow them in. And as you can see, um, I'm just peeking, and this will allow you to have the upper hand in gunfights. Um, it'll allow you to know where your enemies are and you'll be able to um, get your first few shots on them before they can even get shots on you, which is really, really helpful. And as you can see here, um, I'm looking at the little map thing and I'm seeing where the gunshots are coming from. I'm placing my transform shield down so he doesn't know when I'm going to come up. Um, I'm using my third person peeking to see that he's still in the open and then I'm going up and killing him. And as you can see in this clip, um, I can see a guy shooting at me, so I'm going to be doing this, and this is essentially using the third person peeking, um, and I always find this really, really useful, and as you can see there, um, we were able to get the kill, and now we can heal up and continue to, um, win this game, um, yeah. Alright, so the next tip is to always be on the move, um, as you can see here, we're just going to go up here, and we, you never want to be still unless you've got cover and you know no one's going to be coming from behind you so um the only time you want to be still is when you're completely sure that no one can sneak up behind you um but as you can see here since we're kind of in the open and there's a tank over here 
Um, I'm going to be moving as much as possible. I can hear this person's teammates close around, so I'm not going to stick around his teammate or loot him or anything like that or finish him off. I'm going to actually be moving around, um, using cover, uh, I'm rotating around the trees here, and as you can see, I finally find this guy and drop shot him, and that's how you move around as much as possible and get those kills. Now, the very last tip is to basically be the first person to get to the tank. Now, um, tanks are basically kind of broken inside of Call of Duty Mobile BR, so if you can get to the tank first, it's essentially an, like, an easy win. Um, yeah, so as you can see in this clip, we got the tank, and, um, yeah, we, <laughs> it literally just made us win. Um, it's that simple. I'll just show you guys a quick clip here over here of me using the tank. Um, I'll just show you how OP it is. It is one shot. Um, it just knocks people down, and you shoot them again, and boom, they're gone. So, um, yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video. Hopefully you guys found these tips useful. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.